is that was that fun to kind of play in the fact that you have all of these episodes that you're you know a little part of but then you have one episode that truly just focuses on your character where you could it's really in. cool and i love it because we get to learn so much about each character yeah. and every table read would be like oh my gosh what is going on and that was that was such a fun experience to have yeah. And I do want to talk about, um, you know, the unfiltered side of the show, which is just, it's very raw. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of nudity and, and sexuality. Um, as a young woman in Hollywood, did any of that make you uncomfortable at first? Did you have to kind of put all of that aside and be like, this is for, you know, the job? Because I'm curious. You know, I don't know if uncomfortable is the right word. I was timid at first because I've never done anything like that before. And I definitely had a very sit down conversation with my mom about it. <laughs> um, but the thing about the nudity in this show is that it's not glamorized. It's not, oh, here's a pair of tits. <laughs> and it's it's just real. When, you, when you're having sex, you get naked. Mm -hmm. And there's so much storyline around that that if you're just watching it for the nudity then you're watching it for the wrong reasons yeah. and i think that that's just i mean we're teenagers yeah of course and you're 21 yes. but then playing somebody who's what 16 17 um was it weird for you to kind of think back because i know were you in school or did you kind of um miss that part of high school because you were acting i continued school i okay. think education is very important my mom was very strict mm -hmm. with me on school i was valedictorian wow um so Impressive. school was like always number one didn't matter what i was working on even continue with college that's great and so most of my characters are young, so I, it's not, I don't feel 21, yeah. if that makes sense. <laughs> like I'm a teenager I'm, like, I'm still so. stuck playing a 16-year-old for the rest of my life. So I, it wasn't that hard to dive into that. Yeah. But at least Cassie is, you know, we've seen a lot of depictions of, of teenagers. And I have to say over the past four to five years, we've gotten a little bit more um, complex mm -hmm. uh, groups of women and men and young men and shows like 13 Reasons Why and now Euphoria. Uh, was it important for you to have a teenage character that felt like a fully fledged, you know, woman on screen? Yes, I always look for characters that hopefully will develop into a more powerful symbol. Like Emmeline became this amazing character for people, and Alice really stuck with people in Eden and I, I hope that as Cassie's storyline progresses that she becomes that symbol for people as well. Mm -hmm. And how about the cast? You guys like have uh, important conversations among each other. I know you have Zendaya and Maude Apatow and there's so many great talented young women on this set and I'm curious do you guys sit down and kind of talk about what the show is trying to put out there for viewers? Yeah I mean Sometimes we're like, wow, what are we filming? <laughs> um, but I think we always sit down and we're like, this is a very important story that we're telling for every single character. And we always support one another for everything that each of them are doing. And I think more, it was just we're waiting for the show to come out, waiting for everybody to see all the episodes and react in their own way and take it from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because visually the show is stunning too. Side note on that, I'm the cinematography is amazing. Visually, it's stunning. And we would work so hard, and the DP and the crew worked tireless hours because of the crazy camera movements they would do. And I've never been on a set like that before, so it was so cool learning that there isn't just one way to do something. Like, you can test things and you can take it far even on an HBO show like we were given the ability to try new things yeah. and I really love that yeah that's probably cool because each project and each director you kind of learn something new correct mm -hmm. about camera angles and how other people work yeah it's definitely set. wanted me to dive into the other side yeah. of the industry as well yeah oh that's cool would you be interested in trying um would you start out with like a short film maybe or do some I don't know I've I've been writing a little bit mm -hmm. Uh, I'd love to produce. I think I might want to direct, but I don't know if I, I would, I'm so OCD, so I'd be worried that that might be like a year worth project. Yeah. Um, but I definitely want to just dive into as much as I can. 
what's great now is we're seeing people kind of, uh, you know, act in front of the camera and then also go behind the scenes and get involved in that way, even with Big Little Lies on HBO with mm -hmm. Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon. Are you noticing that, though, that there are more even, you know, female writers and directors out there than there was before um, since you started? Because it kind of has been a little uptick now. Yeah, I think decade. that now we're being able to have the voice and the ability with especially all the different platforms that we have to create more content. And the industry is going in such a positive direction with female empowerment that everybody's encouraged to do what they want. Mm -hmm. And I love seeing female filmmakers and crew members. I think that we need more female DPs mm -hmm. out there. Uh, but it's a very inspirational time. You cannot 